Hey guys, just before we get into the video, I've got some giveaway info for you, of course. So today's giveaway is not going to have a first comment prize because this is my first video on the server. But today's giveaway is going to be massive. It's only going to be one winner, but I'm giving away a Dark Matter Sword. The Dark Matter Sword is the second best in slot item in the game, for me at least. And as you can see, this looks fucking sick. I'm going to be showing off much more items later on in the video, but all you have to do to enter for the Dark Matter Sword is comment your in-game name down below, leave a like on this video, and be subscribed to my channel. Also, when you guys make a new account, one, I do recommend going through the tutorial, but two, after you select what account you want, make sure when it asks you how you found the server, you click on YouTube and type in Wet Wizard. Doing this gives you a bit of extra cash when you start out, and it helps me out a lot. It lets the owners know that I brought you here. Anyways, good luck on the giveaway, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, this is Brett, and welcome back to another RSPS review. I have not done a review in quite a long time. It's probably been a few months, if I remember correctly. But today, we are on Exora. You've probably heard of this server quite a bit. This is a higher revision custom server. And no, it's not one of those custom servers with dildos and miniguns and stuff like that. As you can see, these are custom created armors that just look absolutely incredible. Like, I, I don't even understand. Like, they did such a good job on these armors like i'm gonna show you guys more of them they're absolutely amazing but as you can see like you don't have one million strength or anything like that but anyways let's hop into the review so as i just said one of the first things to notice on this server is the detail and effort that they put into their custom items like look even just looking at a few people right here i don't even know what this armor is but it looks fucking sick this bow looks pretty i think this is a dark matter bow this guy is wearing a bunch of a uh, spooky shit but yeah, I don't know a ton about the server. I haven't put in that much time, but I've been watching quite a few streams and videos on it, so I do know a little bit. First off, we'll do a little home tour. Over here, you have your shops, pretty basic stuff. I won't sit and go through all of them. Over here north, you can spend points, uh, look at account information, things like that. For example, if we head over to the PvP exchange, you can go to the bounty token shop. And as you can see, there is uh, quite some OP goods in here. Then over here, we have the Achievement Shop, the Vote Exchange, and the Account Manager. The reason I mentioned this is because I want to show you guys the Achievement System. So if we head over to the Quest tab and go to the Achievements Manager, as you can see, their achievements have an extremely clean interface. Everything is sorted out super well, tells you what to do, what you get, has little tabs up here for the difficulty. And it's just really impressive to me because, as a lot of you know who have been in the RSPS scene for quite a while, high revision servers don't do stuff like this typically. They normally just half-ass it, you know, use an old interface and just, you know, write some text on it. But they went over the top with this. Like, this is amazing. I really got to give them credit for it. And speaking of interfaces, if we go over to the skill tab here and click on any of the skills, let's say fishing, for example. As you can see, you can see all the fish in this custom skills guide. Then if we scroll down to, let's say, raw squid, and uh, you don't know what the hell a raw squid is, you can click on this little information button right here, and it tells you everything about it. Now, this also works for things like armor and things like that. So if I click on the defense tab, you have normal stuff like bronze, you know, rock climbing boots, things like that. But then if we scroll down to the custom armors, of course, let's say the uh, elite pernix armor, we click the question mark here. Elite pernix equipment is a stronger version of the next equipment. It has an increased HP bonus and is obtained by using a next upgrade kit on a next piece. That's just one example. Then we check out, let's say, the uh, Sea Dweller. Sea Dweller is the best in slot magic equipment. By equipping the full set, you receive extra hit rate and drop rate. So as you can see, this interface is insanely well done and very user friendly. I really wish servers will learn from this because this is very important, especially for custom servers. How many times have you joined a custom server and been like, what the fuck is that? And you spend 20 minutes asking people and just no one answers you. So you have to go through forums and look up a guide or something like that where they could just have something like this and you click one button and you learn about it. It's super well done, short, simple, to the point, And I don't know, I just find it very impressive. Then if you want, you can even sort it up here by customs only. So if you already know what all the other stuff is, you can just switch it to the customs and then get information like that. Now, speaking of the custom armors, I want to show you guys some of the customs that they actually have to offer on here. So starting off with the melee set, this is one of the best in slot melee armors in the game. As you can see, I'm wearing full Sky Dweller and a Scoria Sword. As I've already said, they put in so much time into these customs. Like, just look at this. This looks so goddamn cool. And obviously the stats on it are going to be absolutely nuts. And here is the magic set. This looks fucking amazing to me. I just, I'm in love with it. The trim around the gear. Oh, dude, it just looks so good. Then, of course, you have weapons such as the Dark Matter Staff. Like, dude, this seriously just looks so incredible. I can't stress it enough. 
Now on top of the custom armors, weapons, interfaces, things like that, there's something completely unique called shoulder pets. As you can see here, I've got a snail F, a golem F, a hellcat, and a Christmas Octo. So now what you do is when you wear one of these, as you can see, it goes on your fucking shoulder. It is so cool, dude. Look, we put the snail on. Boom. You got a little snail chilling. A little golem. Boom. A little <laughs> he just like sits. Dude, this is so good. And each one of these pets actually gives you perks and benefits. And I do believe you can actually find what these do in the defense section. So as I said, these shoulder pets actually give you perks and benefits. And you can actually buy some of them in the achievement shop here. As you can see, you can get a gold Octo F, you can get a white one, you can get a white monkey, a gold monkey, and a dragon. So for example, the white dragon gives you increased overall experience by 10% when equipped. And then the gold dragon, I believe, gives you drop rate. Yeah, 0.25. So the white ones give you some sort of XP boost, I believe, and the gold ones will always give you drop rate boost. It's a very cool concept. I love it. And it's something very unique that you won't see on basically any other server. And we do have a few more customs I didn't wear in my inventory. Let's look at them real quick. Uh, we have the Dark Matter Bow here. This one, I honestly think the sword and the staff look a bit better, but this does look sick, of course. Here we have the Tormented Whip. Ooh, that, yeah, that's pretty fucking spicy. Oh, I like that. See, like, the thing I love about these is they don't look, like, tacky or, like, they don't look like they don't fit in the game. They actually look like they're just part of the game. I don't know. It just looks like new content to me. Here we have the Scoria Bow. Okay. That is a... That's a bit over the top, but I kind of I kind of fuck with it. I assume it's like an end game item, so I guess it's kind of fitting to be a bit like overdone. Let's see what else we got. I almost forgot to show you guys the uh, range armor. Look at this shit, dude. Oh my god, that's so cool. And then here we have a bow called the uh, Featherfall bow. Kind of reminds me of like a Saradamon bow. I think that's kind of what they were going for. I'm not too sure. Then we have a true Featherfall bow, which is obviously just an upgraded version of the Featherfall bow. Now, that leads me to my next point, item upgrading. So if we head south of home over here, as you can see, there's a thing called a Titan Forge. Once you click on it, as you can see, it opens another custom interface. And you can basically gamble items with a chance to get an upgraded version of it. So for example, in order to upgrade your Featherfall bow, you have to sacrifice one bow, 10 mil cash, and 10 elemental dust. Okay, so now that we've looked at a bunch of items and things like that, I really want to go check out some of the custom bosses. Because this isn't one of those servers where they just made already existing NPCs bigger or added like really tacky customs with no animations. Like they did everything custom, like actually. So I'm gonna overload up and we're gonna go try out just some random bosses, I guess. Keep in mind, this is basically the strongest gear in the game. So basically anything we do is gonna be super easy, but obviously you guys aren't gonna have this gear for quite a while. So I just wanna show off the bosses. All right, so first, uh, God, there's so many. I don't even know where to go. There's next. There, well, that's not custom, but there's a Ganodermic Behemoth, Farago, Abyssal Horror. I don't even think that's custom, actually, but let's go check out the Exorian Champion. I'm pretty sure in this gear, we can actually just use a uh, Soul Split instead of Prey, but if we take a look at its drop table, we can get Elite Task Roll, Exorian Wings, or basically all the Exorian Armor, Enchanted Key, Squid, which is the best food in game, and that's about it. But yeah, obviously, we're going to be looking for the Exorian gear. Let's see, do they have any mechanics or anything? Or can I, uh, okay, wow, this gear is absolutely busted. I could just AFK. Oh, wait, but it drains my prayer. Huh. I'm wearing something that's draining my prayer, and I'm not sure what. Okay, so I'm looking through all the skill guides, and I can't seem to find what does it. So I'm just going to kind of take stuff off and see what it is that's making me lose the prayer. Let's try the ringing gloves. Okay, nope, it's still dropping super fast. Is it the amulet? No, it's not the amulet. Either way, this gear is absolutely fucking nuts. And I can literally just like sit here in AFK basically. Or I could just drink a prayer pot and I literally can't die. I could actually just overload before I telly here and bring a full inventory of prayer pots. All right, let's go check out the Gano Behemoth. If you guys played pre-EOC, then you know what a Ganodermic Beast is. This is actually like a custom version of it. It actually looks fucking sick, dude. Oh my God, look at its attacks. Wait, I'm actually destroying it. Holy shit. But yeah, it's just really impressive to me how they actually went like above and beyond instead of just settling with like one or two custom monsters. Like they sat there adding a shit ton of custom content, whether it be for just like medium tier gear or like end game gear, they added custom shit for it. Let me see what this can even drop. Uh, obviously the Gano Flakes, uh, full Gano Dermic for sure. Barrow's Defender, that's kind of weird. Rune Stained Sword. I don't know, I have no idea what that is honestly, but okay. All right, we'll just uh, shit on one more real quick and then we'll move on. 
What do we get? Nothing. All right, I'm going to check out one more place, you guys. Uh, what do we want to do? We have the Dark Matter Cave, Celestial Cave, Magma Dungeon. Like, look how many custom areas there are. Let's go check out the Demonic Lair, I guess. Oh, okay. This is just where Demonic Gorillas are. Okay, what about the Crystal Light Lair? Holy shit. Wait, what are these? These are like Crystal Garg... Dude, that looks so fucking cool. Holy shit, man. Let's see, what do they drop? Crystal... Crystallic? Crystallic? I don't know how to pronounce that. You got a whip, a sigil, a rapier, a longsword, a pet. All in one monster. And then a shit ton of supplies. He's actually pretty good. Do they have any mechanics or anything? Or do I just destroy them? Oh, okay. It's just a... It's just like a medium tier slayer monster, it seems like. Or maybe this is considered high tier. If you don't have like super OP gear. I'm not too sure. Either way, like I said, this kind of just proves my point. Even with just a normal Slayer monster in a cave, they went above and beyond. Like, it, this wasn't even necessary. They just did it, like, because they wanted to stand out, you know? It's just, it's really cool. But the prayer drain with this gear is absolutely obnoxious, I'll tell you that. Kill one more and see if we get a drop. Eh, nothing. As you can see, they also have their own uh, auction house, which is pretty cool. If you talk to this guy here, it's basically a trading post. So if we search up, uh, Scoria, for example... As you can see, it's a very clean, very simple interface. I really like it. You can right click here and buy X if you need to, or just buy one. I don't like though how you can't sort the prices and stuff like that, like up here, little like drop down arrows, but still it's a really good system. I like it. You can also just click recent to see recent offers, which is pretty cool. This is really good for merching because you can just sit there and refresh the page. And then when you see someone put something in for low, or maybe they put something in for a low price accidentally, you could just snag it real quick. So that's pretty cool. So another feature I want to show off to you guys is the monster machine. As you can see in my inventory, I have a couple items like the monster eyes and the green monster goop. There's a bunch of other items like these that you get from PVMing. Depending on the combat level of what you're killing, you will receive different kind of materials from the monsters. And once you've collected a certain amount, you can actually bring them to this table. And as you can see, once you have a certain amount of each, you can actually trade them in for a mystery box. It's a really cool feature and it actually makes it so if you don't get drops while PVMing from Slayer and things like that, you're eventually going to get something anyways. Because let's say I go dry long enough to collect 25 of each of these shitty material, I at least get a guaranteed mystery box that way I can open it and have a chance to actually get some loot. It's a really good way to like give you satisfaction even though you went dry while PVMing. Even if you don't get something too great from the box, I mean it's still better than you know getting no drops at all. So yeah, it's just a really cool system. They also have a custom Slayer shop. As you can see, you can buy things like a Slayer mystery box, the Bills bag, which is obviously one bill cash when you get 500 points, a Slayer familiar, which goes on your shoulder. Let's actually see which one it gives you. Uh, I got a black dragon. Wait, is it the same every time? Let's check one more time. Oh no, you actually get different ones. That's pretty cool. Then you get Slayer mystery boxes. I don't know if these are decent. Let's actually find out. Oh, it's actually a whole spin interface though. Okay, what do we get? And five mil cash, never lucky. These are only 10 points, so I'm gonna assume that it is very rare to actually land on one of these items. But of course, everyone loves fucking boxes, right? Oh, there we go. We just got demonic aura wings. So if you guys don't know, demonic aura wings actually go in your cape slot. And as you can see, they give you 15 strength and 20 attack. I don't believe they're best in slot. Okay, no, not even close. They give 15 strength and this gives 60. But regardless, 15 strength is still pretty damn good, especially from like a little slayer mystery box, right? Real quick, I'll show you guys these shoulder pets again. Here's the monkey. Oh my god, that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> and we have the Octo, of course. This one, okay, the Octo has to be my favorite. And then we have the dragon. This one would probably be my favorite if it wasn't so small. But yeah, I really love the shoulder pets. Such a cool concept. But yeah, honestly, I barely scratched the surface in terms of how many custom monsters and items and things like that there are. If this server looks interesting to you and you want to try out something fresh, something new, not the same old stuff that every RSPS has been doing, come and check out Exora. It's a very clean server. They're working very hard on it, adding more and more custom stuff like the things I've shown you. And if you do join, don't forget to use my referral code, please. Helps me out a lot. Anyways, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.